Hi guys, welcome back to the peer-to-peer -peer network coding session series. We are now at episode number seven. Um, what we're going to do now is to fix something that was left uh, at the bootstrapping process. Uh, even though now we have working what we implemented to distinguish between the different type of networks and the different networks themselves. Um, still, there is something that is not really very well, that is mm, that the reference parents are not going to always be discovered in this way because the function that we are using, this one, is doing both things at the same time, discovering the reference parent ID and also setting the references. And we need to do it in two different stages. First, process all the nodes and create a map with all with all the nodes that can be referenced and then we need to set the references okay so we're going to divide this function in two and execute it in two steps so in that way all the reference parents are going to be uh, set up correctly and from there on we can use it for anything including the permission networks authorizations okay so this is crucial um, so the name of this function are we going to keep it from save it plugin to in memory structure, okay. And we are going to create a second function that is going to be called um, from in. memory structure to structure with reference parents. So it's a little bit long, but it's super explicit. So with this, I want to say that with this one, we turn from here to here to a memory structure and then from memory structure to reference parents. So that is what you're going to do. We are going to receive the same in memory map okay So in this case, we have these two functions in here. We are going to move this one inside here. And this execution inside here. Um, p 
poly. We are going to do this here because we will need a root object and the root object is not going to be defined in here. So we are doing the same stuff but in two different functions. In the first case we were executing this function and the next one And now we are going to execute it separately, okay? So going back to the bootstrapping process, we still have our map, but we need to execute, and this is going to be a little bit more complicated because for some of the parts okay let's see what, how we do this load app schemas okay from network and governance that is fine then load user uh, plugins. We load it and we run it through here. Okay. Okay, so we load the plugins, we load the plugins. Then we will need to set references and set references, okay? So we will, we will need to iterate over the plugins. but we have it on a map here. So that means that we can iterate this map if we need it, because all, all of the stuff is here. And the same is true for the other guy. The thing is, I will have to cut this function in several pieces, which probably is going to look better after I finish. Um, how do I do this? Okay, we load this. Okay, so I'm going to rename this. 
I'm going to create another function that is going to be for loading the plugins of the profiles. Okay. So this is going to be load user profiles. And this is where I'm going to take this and put it here. And take this and put it here. So this is going to be here. So this is going to be here. And this guy is the one that is going to be here. So we did the first round where we take load the plugins run it through this from save plugin to in memory data structure <coughs> and store it here at the memory map okay good so now we have this then once we run everything there we are going to execute the second function that is going to set the references okay but for that, we will need a new set of functions that are going to be it's going to be. Set reference for peer to peer networks. Okay, so here what you're going to do is iterate this guy. There's a way to turn this into an array. And we were using this somewhere. Here, array from a map. So that is exactly what we're going to do. Um, So we are going to just iterate sequentially this map, this array.
and each of these items Okay. So what we are going to do next is this. And we are going to execute this with this guy. So from this, we are going to get, transform this into an array, iterate it, and for each array item, we are going to execute this function that in this case it doesn't need to return a value because it's just going to be setting references inside the objects um, of this structure, okay? And it's not going to be this one, the one x, but this. From in-memory structure to structure with reference parents. So we are going to send each of the items, which are going to be each of the user profiles, and each of the peer-to-peer -peer networks. And this is going to add the reference parents. And it doesn't return anything, as you can see, because that is not the purpose of this stuff. So this function scans the plugin file a save from the UI and turn it into a, a known structure given the one used inside the save from the UI. So let's add an explanation here. This function scans a in memory no structure and Add the reference parents that they and now the reference parent for the nodes that have reference parent ID. Okay, this is what this does.
so this is going to be executed for this and also for mm, it's a peer to peer networks these are user profiles Not for peer-to-peer -peer node hierarchy, but for no hierarchy. Okay, so once this is done, once this is done, so here we load the schemas, we load the peer-to-peer -peer network plugins. That, by the way, this also could be one single function that we executed twice because it's essentially the same stuff well if we get need to use more than two I would generalize it but I don't see so far the situation where we are going to use to be referencing stuff but who knows who knows but this has the potential to be generalized and also to load all the plugins at once and forget about the problem but I'm going to leave it like this for now um, so this reserves an, an no hierarchy this would be a no hierarchy map So the map is turned into an array, is iterated, get an array item, and then we run it through this function, sending this map, and then everything should end up interconnected in a way that we can easily use it throughout the application. Okay. Once we have that done, then we're going to come here and and bootstrap the rest of the structures we will need so which are going to be Okay, so here we are essentially scanning user profiles. Extract info from user profiles. 
This is what we are doing. Extract info, extracting info from user profiles. So that goes after all that stuff is done. And Um, user profiles array is going to be an array from this map which have already everything set up so we don't need to load this from this again and we are going to use Okay, so we don't need to load this again. We don't need to parse this again. And this is going to be directly the user profile so this is we don't need to say that this is an array just put it in plural this is going to be a user profile So from here, we're going to replace this, this, and this. Okay, setting up the user social profile. This is the same. Here are, here this is the same. So we can put this inside the function just to make things more clear. Set up user social profiles now this get inside here and this function can be here and all these guys can be moved upward here Okay, so now it's a little bit better. And all the rest should work well. Because we haven't touched anything about this inner workings. So all this should work well. So to recap, we have divided this function 
in two functions, this and this. This is working more or less the same, but instead of executing this immediately, we are delaying that execution, and later we receive a root object, we execute the second part, that is the one that sets the references, okay? So that happened at that utility functions. And in here, what we did is that we are loading first the plugins of the networks, then the plugins of the user profiles. Then we are setting the references so that all the references all the node gets referenced between each other and then we are executing this info this extract info from user profiles which is going to extract the user social profile the sign in account the storage container and everything that we know that it was working okay so this is how this evolve and the way to know if this is still working is just by running and probably debugging just from here okay so that's what we're going to do Okay, user profile ID not defined, which is correct. This is user profile dot ID. So if this has the reference. Oops, everything is wrong. Peer to peer network node. Okay, I guess it didn't work. So we will boost we will debug this process. So let's start here. Okay, load user, blah, blah, blah. That is exactly what was happening before, so I don't need to go in there. Okay, so I guess this is working. So now we are in here. Okay, I had a problem here because I'm sending only one parameter and this needs two. No.
no, no, I'm, I'm wrong. Um, this is correct. I'm sending this map that has two stuff. So here it has two. The first one is coming here from in memory structure. So now I have all the nodes into a plugins map, which is awesome. Okay, probably there is no problem there. So I will let it run. 97 plugins. So this is going to run through here. Oops. Okay, so let's run again. What is this? There is something strange here. User profile. Why has an array? A key value. Okay, so this stuff is an array. So from here I need the first element of the array. But at the same time, I need the first element here. So let's try it again. It's not the first element, it's the second. But let me check this. Okay, this is not really working. No, 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 it's not here. 
So here it was okay. It is here. Or not here, but here. It is a little bit confusing. Also, it's not here the problem that I'm going to have, but it's most likely here. So let me see if this works. Okay, now it makes sense. So this is going to have all the user profiles, but an array of key and stuff. So the actual user profile is this. Now we're going to let it run. The reason it's failing is because this is already parsed. We parsed it before, so there is no need for this config. Probably we can use directly something like this. User profile config user profile config and remove this User social profile is not defined. How is this not defined? Mm. Okay, because we put this inside this function. So this is not very, very good idea, but It's good enough for now. Okay, so now it's running. I mean, fully running. <coughs> Okay, so what we've done is that we have upgraded the app bootstrapping process by considering that the references has to be set up after having all the nodes in memory. Uh, that by the way is exactly the same thing that is done in the user interface when you load all the plugins. First you load the, all the plugins, then you remember all the nodes and then you establish all the references. We are end up having more or less the same stuff here. So 
now the bootstrapping makes more sense it's a little bit more tidy and it's working so it's it has grown quite a lot but it's a little bit more tidy okay cool so this is all for for now having done this now we are we have cleared the way in order to implement the different services per network node okay and that is what we're going to do in the next video so thank you for watching this one and see you next time